The Total Money Makeover by David Ramsey is a financial self-help book that aims to revolutionize how you think about money and inspire you to escape debt and live the life you have always wanted. Ramsey details seven steps you can take to turn your financial situation around. The steps include admitting you have a problem, budgeting, eliminating your debts, starting an emergency fund, planning for retirement and your child's college education, paying off your home mortgage, and finally, building your wealth. It is important to understand that this is not a get-rich-quick scheme. A money makeover will take years to accomplish, requiring every bit of discipline and focus you have to reach the final step. But those sacrifices will be worth it when your money is doing the hard parts of life for you, leaving you to focus on the important things. The best thing you can do following a financial crisis, such as a recession, is to learn from it and not make the same financial mistakes again. The challenge with handling your money is that it is completely on you whether you fail or prosper. If you are able to control your behavior, then you can control your finances. The Total Money Makeover was invented by David Ramsey, a twice-over self-made millionaire. The first time was during his 20s when he lost it all due to his stupidity. How he made the next million in his 40s debt-free is what the Total Money Makeover is based on. The Total Money Makeover involves sacrificing in the present, so you can afford to live comfortably in the future. The system only works if you are willing to put in the work as well. The first step of the money makeover is to admit you have a problem. You cannot be in denial about your financial situation. Do not let your denial drive you into a financial pit. Identify your financial fat and cut it out of your life. Mediocrity can be an enemy when dealing with your finances. It can lure you into inaction and make you believe that everything is fine when in reality you're barely getting by. Don't wait until you reach rock bottom, as most people do, to finally realize that you have a problem. There are some logics in our society that many smart people believe in just because they are commonly accepted despite being completely flawed. One of these logics is the need to purchase things for our happiness and continued success. In today's society, many people are told that debt is a tool necessary to acquire the things we need, such as a college education, a car, and a home. Yet, history shows that debt was once not only rarely used, but greatly frowned upon. Debt is another logic that people believe is a normal part of life. People that don't borrow money aren't seen as normal and are often ridiculed. Others may try and pull you down for your unpopular decision to stop borrowing completely, but don't let them. Debt can ruin people's relationships. It changes the dynamic of the relationship. Never loan money to family or friends because lending money is based on emotion rather than logic. You can only believe that they will pay you back, but you can never be certain. Short-term decisions are often what get people into major, long-term debt. Renting to own and payday loans are two of the most common financial mistakes people make when they are being impatient. In reality, if they were patient and saved up, they could afford what they wanted outright. While people may think renting to own is clearly a poor decision, there is little difference between that and car payments. If people were willing to save up money for a year, they would be able to purchase a car in full, but they don't because everyone else has a car payment. Having a monthly payment is not a blessing, but a curse. People think they need to build their credit, which essentially means building up their debt. One of the biggest recommendations of the total money makeover is to ditch the credit card and only use your debit card. The same goes for kids and credit cards. While banks make them seem easy and a great learning tool, it is simply false advertising. If you are not teaching your children good spending habits to start, a credit card will not help them learn any faster. Risk denial and quick, easy money are two major issues that the total money makeover looks to correct. Risk denial means believing a safe job is always going to be safe, while quick, easy money means believing there are ways to get rich without working hard. Both are myths. The government will not take care of you when it comes to retirement. You are in charge of your own retirement plan. A major retirement mistake is to invest in gold. It is less profitable than a growth stock and won't be used if the economy collapses. No tell all DVDs or books can teach you how to become rich overnight. Despite their claims, often they are fraudulent and will only teach you bad habits. The lottery is a scam backed by a government and a clear way to con and tax poor and unintelligent people. It sells false hope, not a golden ticket to a comfortable life. Owning a home is a great investment, 
but owning a trailer is not. Trailers rapidly decrease in value over time, unlike a home. The Total Money Makeover recommends renting the cheapest possible home you can put up with until you can afford your own home. You may think you don't have time to start budgeting, but in reality, you don't have time not to start budgeting. You need to start planning your future today because your future comfort depends on it. If you are leaving a marriage, be certain you don't have any debts under your name that you can't afford. Otherwise, you can get stuck paying for your ex-spouse's debts along with your own. Refinance the items so they are not under your name or force the sale of them. Bankruptcy is not a quick and easy do-over for debt. Avoid it as much as possible. It does incredible damage to your credit, can stay on for seven or more years, and does irreparable damage to your psyche. Everyone dies, yet 70% of people die without a will. The Total Money Makeover highly recommends writing one, as it leaves your belongings and financial legacy for you to decide, and not the state. No one is born money smart, so do not deny your ignorance of money, but embrace it. Turn your ignorance into intelligence and learn about personal finances. Otherwise, you risk ruining your financial future. Your goal should not be to try and keep up with the wealth of those around you. Do not fall victim to peer pressure, as it can lead to ridiculous decisions just so you can look the part to those around you. To commit to the total money makeover, you must make radical change and ignore other people's approval. We often use money to impress others, whether it be with cars, clothes, or gifts. But if you are to change your finances, you must change your mindset. To begin your total money makeover, you have to take it one step at a time. Do not expect immediate results, as those do not exist. The first step you must take is to create a budget for each month every month. Aim for a zero-based budget, meaning your income minus your expenses equals zero. If changes need to be made during the month, make sure you sit down with your spouse if you have one and still find a way to balance out the budget. The next step is to save $1,000 in cash for any emergency expenses. Do not rely on a credit card to bail you out of emergencies. This is the first step in breaking the cycle of borrowing. If an emergency does happen down the line and you use a portion of the emergency money, your first step should be to replace it. One of the fastest ways to accumulate wealth is to eliminate your debt. As soon as you stop having to make monthly payments, you can begin investing and using your money to your advantage. To eliminate your debt, list all of your debts, starting with your smallest payoff and ending with your largest. That is the order in which you should make your remaining payments. These first, easy payments will go a long way towards your battle against debt. For every other debt besides your smallest, make minimum payments. Every extra dollar you make that isn't going towards daily necessities should go towards eliminating your debts one at a time. Completing every payment will not be easy. It will take time and extreme dedication, so only begin this process if you are fully committed to changing your financial situation. The goal is to eliminate every debt except for your house. If you get stuck and can't make any progress on your smallest debt, the Total Money Makeover recommends selling something or picking up an extra job to get the ball rolling again. Sacrifices now will pay off later down the line. Step 3 of the Total Money Makeover after you are debt-free is to build your emergency fund, which should cover your expenses for 3 to 6 months. The last thing you want to do when a financial emergency comes up is borrow, especially after all your hard work. Put your emergency fund in a money market account, which is a deposit account that pays interest. Make sure it has no penalties for withdrawals and full check writing privileges in case you need your money quickly. Do not be tempted to put your emergency savings into bonds or low-risk investments. The purpose is to have a safety net, not to try and make money. Depending on your situation, judge how much you need in the account. For some, it could be three months, but others six. It is important to establish your emergency fund before you purchase a home. A house payment on top of fixing your car or paying medical bills after a freak accident can bring disaster quickly. Only look to buy a home when steps two and three are complete. After you are debt-free and have completed your emergency savings, your next step should be to invest. Specifically, you should invest into your retirement. Doing so gives you options later in life. Aim to put 15% of your income toward your retirement. Do not include any amount that your company is contributing to your retirement into that 15%. Also, do not count what you pay into Social Security in that 15%.
When thinking about investing for the long term, Ramsey recommends growth stock mutual funds, which are funds that invest in growing companies and pay you accordingly over time. Look for mutual funds with proven track records longer than five years, as smaller track records could be misleading. Contributing to your retirement every month is the key to ensuring a comfortable and stress-free future. You should not be flippant about these monthly contributions. You should be as committed to your retirement as you were to your debt. CBS Market Watch reports that 39% of parents in America do not save any money for their child's college education. Do not be one of those parents, but it is important you only begin this step once you've completed the previous ones. College degrees will not guarantee your child prosperity or a long-term job offer. We need to be more realistic about college education. And in doing so, we can be more realistic about how much we should be spending on it and saving up for it. You should research how much colleges cost. Compare private and public universities. If a school offers a scholarship, that is where you or your child should go. Aim to pay for tuition in cash. You want to avoid student loans. The total money makeover suggests funding college with an educational savings account ESSA, which is a savings account that grows tax-free when put towards higher education. If you are willing to put in $2,000 a year starting when your child is born, by 18 you will have $126,000. If you are late in saving for your child's education, you need to get creative to avoid student loans. Having your child work to pay for college is one option that is beneficial for both of you. Also, picking in state schools will help lessen the financial burden. Do not overlook scholarships either. There are online databases that can give you a list of all the scholarships you or your child qualify for. If you are willing to apply to as many as you can, just getting accepted by a handful of them will make a huge difference. If you have come this far in the total money makeover plan, you have accomplished much more than the average American as you are debt-free with emergency funds and are saving for your and your child's future. But the job isn't complete. The final step is to pay off your home mortgage. There are many myths that tell homeowners to keep their home mortgage for tax deductions or so they can borrow against it to invest, but being debt-free makes both of those options obsolete when accounting for potential risk. Pay off your home as fast as possible, which means no 30-year mortgages. By selecting a 15-year mortgage, instead of just planning to pay it off in 15, you erase any chance of you altering your plan and shave off 15 years of extra payments. Home equity loans, or HELs, are a type of loan where borrowers use the value of their home as collateral. These may seem like great options for emergencies, but the last thing you want to do during a crisis is to borrow. If you are looking to purchase a home, Ramsey recommends paying for it in cash. If you are fully committed and are willing to sacrifice and save a majority of your salary for three to five years, it is possible to purchase your home with no money borrowed. If you have successfully completed all of the steps of the total money makeover, the last step you need to take is to build your wealth. There are three things you should do once you have acquired your wealth. Have fun with it, invest it, and give it away. These three steps should apply while you are acquiring it as well. You must be cautious about the fun you spend your money on. Know and understand your means. Do not make major frivolous purchases before all of the other steps of the total money makeover have been accomplished. Only then should you indulge because you earned it. Investing is how you keep winning with the total money makeover. Do not get carried away with the highs and lows of the stock market because you should be focused on the long term. Be patient with it because this isn't your income, it's your nest egg. When you have established a fair amount of wealth, you should surround yourself with a team of financial advisors. But always keep in mind that they are simply advisors and that you are the one making decisions. Hopefully, there will come a time when your money reaches a pinnacle point, when all of your hard work finally pays off and you reach a point where your money begins to make more than you do, leaving you with peace of mind and comfort of wallet. You should strive to give back when you can. This may be one of the ultimate joys in life, spreading a bit of the comfort you have found from your accumulated wealth. It will take a lot of work to get to this point, but it's worth it. The total money makeover makes you confront yourself on how you handle your finances and how you think about money. It will challenge you to be disciplined and focused for all of its steps. Above all, it should give you hope that you can turn your finances around. 
Wealth itself is not inherently bad. It is the love of wealth that corrupts people. It would be silly to assume everyone with money is bad, just as assuming everyone without it is good. It is up to you to use your riches for the benefit of mankind. Wealth will only amplify what type of person you were before you acquired it. So if you are generous, money will not change that. But if you are selfish and a jerk, then you will become the king of jerks. While the total money makeover deals entirely with money, it is essential that you do not become obsessed with money. Do not let your money control you, but use it to help fulfill life's biggest tasks like being a good parent, spouse, and friend.